Recall that the integral of sine of x is minus cos of x and the integral of cos of x is sine of x. So what about if we are asked to integrate the integral of cos of x over 2 plus 5 dx? In this case, cos of x over 2 plus 5 looks pretty similar to cos of x, but x has been replaced by x over 2 plus 5. So you could think about this to be your g of x. Now, what you have to ask yourself if you want to apply substitution is, do I have the derivative of g? In this case, the derivative of g is a half. If you remember, we could think about a 1 multiplying in front, and then the derivative of g will be only a multiple of that. Therefore, we can apply substitution in this case, and we will call u to x over 2 plus 5. Therefore, du dx would be a half. If we cross multiply, in this case we get that dx is equal to 2 times du. So dx is already by itself, which means we can go back to the integral and replace x over 2 plus 5 by u. So we have cos of u, and then we can replace dx by 2 times du. If we take the 2 outside of the integral, we are left with the integral of cos of u du, which is simply sine of u. So that gives us 2 sine of u plus c. And if we bring our x back, then the answer would be 2 sine of x over 2 plus 5 plus the constant of integration. Now, what about this other exercise? Imagine that we are given the integral of e to the x sine of e to the x dx. What happens in this case is that dx in sine of x has been replaced by e to the x. Therefore, if you want to check if you can apply substitution, you have to ask yourself, do I have the derivative of g multiplying? And then, if you have a look at this, you will realize that this is nothing else but the derivative of g. Therefore, you can apply substitution as well in this case, and we will call u to e to the x here. When we calculate du dx, then we have that du dx is e to the x. When we cross multiply, that gives us du is equal to e to the x dx. And now, to get dx by itself, we just divide across by e to the x. Therefore, dx is equal du over e to the x. So, if we go back to the integral, we have the integral of e to the x by sine of u by du over e to the x. And as it should happen, all the terms with x's are cancelled. So we only have the integral of sine of u du, which is a direct integral as the integral of sine is minus cos. So the answer is minus cos of u plus c. If we bring the x back, then our answer would be minus cos of e to the x plus c.